Good morning and welcome. And a special welcome to any visitors that we have with us today. Today we celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our entrance hymn is number 690 in the hymnal. Sing of the Lord's Goodness, number 690. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. In order to more worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, everyone is invited into the kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you show great mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal all who ask. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you as Gentiles. Inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that, 
by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdraw, withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is, in, is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out for us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know if you noticed, there's going to be a solar eclipse tomorrow. I'll be glad when this is over. I don't know about you, I want to get back to my Facebook news feed being about gossip and stupid things, not about solar eclipses and fraudulent solar glasses and things like that. I actually am excited for it. One, because I hope it drives a lot of revenue. Thank you to our visitors who are here. Don't forget to hit the collection plate. I hope we sell a ton of pork burgers and kebabs. I hope everyone makes their way to the DeBerg Center for some air conditioning and some tasty beverages. I hope it's actually just a great time for our community to gather together. It's something so unique. It's not in our normal schedule. It's not Jour de Fete. It's not Heritage Days. It's something different. And it's a calendar item that's completely out of our control. Although I did see on Facebook, some lady asked if the eclipse could be rescheduled on Sunday because Monday is kind of hard because of school. Okay. I'm looking forward to it myself because I'm kind of a nerd about those things. I watch the NASA simulations and, and what's going to happen. I have buddies who are going to be fishing all day because they think that the eclipse is going to have an effect on how the fish are biting. That may be true. I'm excited. 
But I'm also underwhelmed a little bit. Like, the eclipse is great. Don't get me wrong. And don't leave here saying, like, ah, Father hates the eclipse. Because that's all some of you are going to hear. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm underwhelmed because so many people are traveling all this distance to see this celestial event happen. They're traveling all these miles. They've booked rooms years in advance so that they can be in the moon's shadow. But we're kind of like that as humans. We like that stuff, right? I mean, it's, it's a cool event, once in a lifetime. Man, if we can market it, slap a logo on it, here we go. But we're also people that we like things like miracles, right? The reading today. We love the story of healings because we like to see these big, mighty acts of power. The healing of the Canaanite woman's daughter. We like to hear the stories of the multiplication of the loaves and the fishes because it's miraculous and it's a big deal. We like to hear the stories of Lazarus being risen from the dead. We love the story of the Annunciation, Mary conceiving Jesus through the Holy Spirit. We love the story of the resurrection. We love miracles. We love celestial events. Would that we loved the celestial event that happens each and every day in this church as much as we do, as much as we do the moon's shadow. As much as we love to chase the picture of the Virgin Mary in a, to in a piece of toast halfway around the world. Would that we were a little less superstitious. Would that we were a little less wanting to be impressed by God. Impress me, Lord. What do you have next? In this church today and every day, bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. There is no greater miracle on the face of the earth than that. And it happens here, in a church, in a small town in Missouri. It happens 10 miles down the round road in St. Mary's. And yes, it even happens in Perryville. It happens in Staubtown, in Bloomsdale, in Vine Garden, in Ozora, in Zell, in St. Peter's Basilica, in Rome. Bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. That is the miracle that we should flock to and celebrate. That is the miracle that should fill our church parking lot, not the moon's shadow. That is the miracle that should make us excited. Would that every day was as full as it is on Easter and Sunday. Would that our town would be so on fire for the gift of the real presence of the Eucharist as it is for the celestial event. Friends, there is no greater celestial event than what we are celebrating right now. There is no greater gift than God has given us in the Holy Eucharist. People will ask me, Father, you're so serious when you celebrate Mass. Absolutely. Because through the words of our Lord spoken by an extremely unworthy minister, bread and wine are transformed into the body and blood of Christ. Now that's an event I'd buy a ticket for. That's a t-shirt I'd wear. That's a Facebook post I'd like. I don't have to do any of those things because it's a gift freely given every day. Would that we as Catholics would be as on fire for this celestial event which is moments away from happening as we were the celestial events in the sky. So yes, tomorrow I'm going to be out at the field house holding down the fort with Uncle Bill and I'm going to watch it become dark and I'm going to enjoy it and gnaw on a pork burger while I'm doing it. But I'm still not going to be as impressed about that as I will be what I celebrated hours earlier at our daily mass. Because though it may get dark in the middle of the day, Though we can read stories of miracles, there is no greater miracle than the one that we get to witness every time we come to Mass, and no greater gift than that which we get to receive in Holy Communion.
Together we stand and profess our faith. <coughs> I believe in one God, <coughs> Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Confident in our Father's love and mercy, we offer to him now our needs and our prayers. <clears throat> For bishops, priests, deacons, and all those who minister in the church, may fidelity to the truth and compassion in ministry lead many to recognize Christ in their lives. We pray to the Lord. For our nation, our elected officials, and for our military men and women, may they be kept safe from all harm and be able to experience a world in peace. We pray to the Lord. For our parish family, that since we have received mercy, we will be instruments of mercy to all those we meet. We pray to the Lord. For all those whose hearts are hardened and unable to hear God's voice, that veils of doubt and pain may be lifted to enable them to join in worshiping God. We pray to the Lord. For all those traveling for the eclipse this weekend, especially for our St. Genevieve community, that all will be kept safe and experience a safe return home. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are burdened by sickness or suffering, especially our homebound parishioners, that their perseverance in prayer will be a source of peace. We pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead and for those who mourn, that they will be welcome to worship God face to face in the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. For all those special prayers and intentions we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we your children present to you these our needs. Draw near to us now and answer these prayers which we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's second collection will go to the St. Vincent de Paul Society.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that what you that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith.
Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and, re and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, with St. Genevieve, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your truth, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <laughs> Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 598 in the hymnal, On Eagle's Wings, number 598.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We have the following announcements. Please pray for the repose of the soul of Geneva Viox, whose funeral mass was this past week. The schedule for server, lector, commentator, and extraordinary minister of Holy Communion for September through December may be picked up in the back of church. There is one copy per family. Our recessional hymn is number 671 in the hymnal, Glory and Praise to Our God, number 671. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.